All right, everyone, welcome back to another Wasteland 3 video. This should be part nine. So now at the end of the last video, we finally made it through the bazaar. We checked all that out. We found a caravan to take the refugees to Colorado Springs. Um, we finally completed the mission for Gideon Ray's. He is going to join us back at our headquarters for our political advisor. And uh, we also got a mechanic from him as well. So we got... Um, we also completed another mission, which is Fire Full House. Found himself a pretty blonde thing. So in Full House, um, that means we have our whole crew. Everyone is now set up at our base of operations. So finally, 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 I'm so excited. I have... Um, now, the Full House quest was uh, rated level 2. But you had to go through all these other quests to complete it, so that is a huge, huge uh, completion for me in this game. I finally have everyone. The big thing that I have been wanting to get is the mechanic, because uh, I have been collecting upgrades for my Kodiak. That is my vehicle. And um, I, I haven't Googled it or anything, but I'm thinking the mechanic is obviously probably going to be the one that's going to put all that stuff on for me. Breaker 1-9. This here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? This is a new character, Dead Red. We read you, who's this? Ha! Ain't you nosy. <laughs> Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Copy that. Yep. Hello? Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Angela Death, who goes by Angie. Angela Death. Let's, well, let's say who, because I, uh, she might have been in previous Wasteland games. I don't know. I haven't played them, so let's pretend, uh, or let's just be honest and say I don't know who you are. Huh. Forgotten already. Damn. Well, I served under General Vargas back when we were fighting that creep, Matthias the Messiah. Got sent out here to Colorado to reconnoiter a while back, and well, things took an unexpected turn. Yeah, let's say, where are you? Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. <laughs> Ranger Command has been wondering what happened to you. I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. Pappy Buchanan. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Why are you telling us this? Why do you think? We want you on our side. But not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. Sounds like she wants help taking him out or something. There's a man you should talk to. Locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. Alright, now Broadmoor Heights is where we just came from. What man? How do we find him? His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. Ah. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Ooh. Yep, 
Yeah, we'll check it out when we get done with what we're doing now. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead Red, over and out. All right, Dead Red. Cool. Okay, we need to go back to uh, headquarters. So pretty much just straight across. Absolutely. The head of Ranger uh, HQ Security, Sergei Gretzky, is a veteran of the Patriarch's most important battles. All right, so we have the new political advisor there. Uh, we have the new prisoners, um, the uh, mother and her sons. I can't remember her name. Uh, they were the ones smuggling the refugees. And most important of all, we got the mechanic. We are going to make a stop by our garage first. I'm finally so excited to get in there and see what that's all about. Hello? Red Hands? Is this thing on? This is Charlie Nose! Charlie Nose. You don't have to yell, Charlie. We read you, Charlie. <laughs> we read you, Charlie. Glad I got a hold of you, Red Hat friends. Your old friend Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. How does that sound? Over! Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, fortunes sound great, but could you please stop yelling? Ha <laughs> I mean, ha ha! <laughs> I knew you'd be up for this. Of course. Charlie knows you visited the bazaar, and you know how important it is to trade in Colorado. And more importantly, how wealthy it is. Now you're talking my language. Problem is... A thousand bucks! The monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But, sooner or later, someone is gonna wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy. And you'll be well compensated for your contribution. Hmm... Why, sh why would we trust you? Why wouldn't you? I dealt straight with you so far, right? Didn't I tell you the truth about McTavish? Don't I always tell you the truth? Come on, Red Hats, it's me, your old buddy, Charlie. Yeah, let's do it. I knew you'd say that. All right, we have a hideout not far from the bizarre entrance, near the old parking lot. We'll hold up there and wait for you. Bring your whole team, and the bazaar will be ours. This game is so awesome. I have a freaking laundry list of a mission log to do. Good lord. After we leave here... We're gonna do Don't Be My Neighbor. Um, last time I tried to go there, we had to get into apartment 3. Uh, my lockpick skill was not high enough. But now we can get in there. And now it's a level 4, so I should destroy those. Uh, or pass the mission fairly easy, I'm thinking. Who's this? Oh, it's Tom Rand. Yes, Rangers. I'm so glad you're back. My wife and I need help. Raiders strap bombs to us with some kind of proximity trigger. If we get near each other, they'll blow up. Let's examine the bomb. As you move closer, he holds up a hand and backs up. Wait, there's a special trigger. You have to disarm both bombs at the same time, or they'll explode. Same if we get too close. Please, send people to my wife so you can disarm them at the same time. Alright, Perception 4. You were, able, you were able to get a glimpse of the bomb before he stepped back. It looks like the bomb is made from paper tubes, spray painted red, and connected to a handheld radio with ordinary string. Sounds like it's fake. Yeah, where's your wife? I think she's over by the big entrance. I'm not sure because we know if we get too close to each other, we'll be turned into wall smears. I miss her a lot. The big entrance. All right, we'll see what we can do. Thanks, Rangers. We thought we were dead for sure. Is 
This is the big entrance he's talking about? That's probably her right there, maybe? Okay, MJ, you stay here. And Hawk, let's go over here. There, there she is. Ma'am. We split him up. Open fire. No. That's a freaking trap. Handle this, right? Big boy, get over there and kick his ass. Go for the headshot. Not enough. They got a machine there too. What do I want to do? Not enough. Get over here and take cover. We need to switch his weapon. Let's give him the machine gun. So we'll take him out. We gotta reload. Of course, I'm not gonna have enough XP. Jesus. I forget when you switch weapons, you have to reload. Alright, friendly fire, take him out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, nice. Should finish him off. Good lord. Done. I don't think I can. Yeah, it's gonna be out of range. I don't think I can reach anyone else. Marshall Quang, can you read? I doubt it. Yeah, I'm gonna be out of range. You sneaky, sneaky bastard. We got this, Ranger! One. Oh, you bastard. Two of them? Can I move these guys? I cannot move them. Yep, not enough. Smash him. That's how you do it. And take this boy out. That's all you got. 
Got it. Not too bad. I can't but they actually didn't inflict any damage on me. Alright, let's see what they got here. What is that? Shock mace. Ooh. Our six melee. That would be nice for my big boy. What do we got here? Plus five armor for the chest armor. Ooh, a new flamethrower. All sorts of goodies, thank you. Okay, let's give... So this is going to be 43 to 60. 49 to 60. Base hit damage. Damage to robots and vehicles. This is probably more to humans. No, this is just a basic one. I'm shredding guys with them anyways. Plus six armor. That's only plus five armor. What is this? Everywhere. Okay. We got a new flamethrower for him. So I've been using the pros. No. I've been using the nitro. 32 to 47. Yeah, that's still pretty OP. 34 to 50. Yeah, let's try this one. Very cool. I like it. Alright, guys. How are we doing on armor? Yes, you could use that. Plus 5 armor. I got the healing bonus. Plus 5 armor. Plus 3. You can have that. <laughs> let's, put, let's put a real outfit on her. Alright, ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Do this, plus five armor. These are probably, that's a plus six armor. Action points minus one. Yeah, I need the strength to carry it though. Very good. Survival. The parrot lets you scope out the situation from a safe distance. Well, let's do that. And, yeah, that will go there. Beautiful. Do I have any pants? Yes. All right, getting some nice upgrades for my characters. That looks pretty good to me. All right, well, that was pretty crazy. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Not yet. What are you waiting for? Didn't I tell you they'd bring back Cochise if we leave him too long? I thought if we went and talked to him, maybe he would say something about the attack. Don't let this one slide, Rangers. It's too important. All right, guys, we finally get to go to the garage. Good luck out there. All right, yes, here we go. Okay, you've unlocked your garage. From here, you can customize the Kodiak to improve its stats, weaponry, abilities, and more. You can also customize its appearance, so you can ride through the wasteland in style. As you explore, you'll discover and unlock new vehicle upgrades. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. There it is right there. Fastback. Hey, Rangers. Good to be here. We're the mechanics Gideon Reyes sent. Beautiful. Uh, don't mind the mess. We're still settling in. Not a problem. How are you finding the accommodation? We've had to make do with worse. In all honesty, though, this is a good space. Lots of room. Lots of supplies in reach. Give it a few more days, and we'll give you a garage that'd make Steel Town go green with envy. I like it. Anything you need? Well, Wrench said he met a mechanic up in the bazaar who had some real talent. Ooh, Wrench said he met a mechanic up in the bazaar who had some real talent. Now, we don't really need more personnel, but it wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands. If you find yourself in the bazaar, see if you can find him and invite him over. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll help him find him. All right, let's see what he has for sale. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. 10% discount. All right, let's sell my junk. Takes me up to 1820. How do I customize? I already have a hood ornament. That's 800. This is an upgrade chases. Level 1, radiation resistance level 2. That's 1,746. Now, I've already bought a bunch of ammo and med packs. Let's do this. Beautiful. So, how do I... It's going to be... Yeah. We 
Leave Rangers headquarters. Don't leave. Well, how the heck do I upgrade? So these are just going to be... Who's Pacer? <coughs> That's just a private. Stay sharp. Looks like right here I'm going to do it. What's that? That looks like an engine. Here we go. Yes. All right, chases. We got the big one. All right, a tough reinforced chases that can handle rough terrain and still get you where you're, where you're going and record time. So... Look at all that. World map, speed, impact damage. Beautiful. So this is the radiation resistance level 2. Okay. Weapon, just the basic one. Mortar. I didn't know I have mortar. Covered an area with sharp, spiky fragments that impedes movement. Fire a few of these and watch your enemies dance. So this is a Caltrap launcher. It does take three action points. Launches Caltraps that blanket a targeted area. Damaging and slowing anyone walking over them. Last three turns. Ooh. Armor plating. I don't have any. Allows you to control the Kodiak remotely during combat. Also great for parallel parking. <laughs> thought we could... I was going to say, I thought we could do the appearance. Put ornament. Yes. I like this one. Yeah, I like the stockhorn. Confirm. Heck yeah, this is so exciting. All right, I want to see if I can sell some more stuff. What do you need? Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. I could probably sell some of the stuff. We can sell that. The crossbow. Shock mace. Let's sell the crossbow. I need to get a better um, assault rifle for myself or MJ. What is this? 18 bucks. We can sell this. This is going to require six weird science and four strength. We can sell that. We can sell that. What is this? A decoy. A pop-up decoy that fools targets into attacking it. Very nice. Very, very nice. It's only a buck. What is this? Green slime. Bizarre entrance pass. I'm going to say it shouldn't let me sell that. Mission critical line on Ballerina Gyro. Alright guys, I think we're sitting pretty good. So that takes me into $317. Not very much. Dream Vacuum. There's the Rhino Cannon. It's 314. A big beast of a cannon that fires higher explosive shells. Light vehicle plating. Do I want plating or a better cannon? Let's buy the plating. That's still going to give me $160. Ooh, look at that. Boom. Frick yeah. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, guys, looking good. Alright, let's go in here. Now... Med bay. Let's go to the med bay. Get all healed up. That Reed kid's the one who helped the Dorseys get into the city, right? So he's responsible for all those butchered people I was patching up. Maybe he should have an accident in his cell. Hmm. That's going to be uh, the young uh, guy with those uh, people that we arrested. That was our first arrest. What do you need, Rangers? 
I would like to be patched up. I'll do what I can. Have a seat. All right, we're all healed. Thank you, Doc. I don't mind not having to clean the suit of the vestry. Now, we got that new political advisor guy. I'm guessing he's up here. There's the corporal. There's Gideon, yeah. Let's see how he's doing here. It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Now, what can I do for you? What can you do for us? How are you settling in? Wonderfully. Thank you for asking. Your staff is so accommodating. We'd, act, we'd uh, like to ask for your advice on political matters. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? What should we do if we want the Patriarch's wholehearted support? That's an easy one. Do exactly what he says. Capture and hold his three rebellious offspring. And do it as swiftly and quietly as you can, without causing them any harm. Okay. I wouldn't say Sal loves his children, with the possible exception of Liberty, but he does consider them his to deal with. So, if you manhandle them, or, God forbid, kill them, he will not be pleased, and your reward will be in jeopardy. Absolutely. Bring them back alive. Treat them with kid gloves, Rangers. Kid gloves. If it was impossible to depose the Patriarch peacefully, would you still support a transfer of power? You mean a transfer of power to you? Storming the palace and fighting the marshals, confronting old Saul in his throne room, because that is what it would come to. Hmm. Got him thinking. I suppose it might be possible to give Colorado the future I've been dreaming for her in that scenario, but it wouldn't be certain. It wouldn't even be likely, so... So, I'm afraid I'd have to say no. Hmm. I would not support you. Thus... If you want me to remain here and to continue giving you advice, I would advise you not to tell me if that is the course you are intending to follow. Okay. How do we get in good with Brago? Why would you want to? The man is a thug and corrupter and should have no place in this city. I knew we should have taken him out earlier. Talk about something else. Certainly. Yeah, can you give us your thoughts on some of the factions we're dealing with? I'm honored that you value my opinion. Go on. Yeah, what about the Gippers? They are fools. But unfortunately, because they own Colorado's only oil fields, we have to suffer with them. Now, they uh, stopped the transport of oil to Colorado Springs, so we haven't met them yet. They worship a dead president as a god and walk around talking and acting like they were cowboys out of a child's picture book of the Old West. Ridiculous people. Saul should have dealt with them years ago. What about the Hundred Families? Despite the Patriarch's belief that he built Colorado on his own, he couldn't have done it without the support of the Hundred Families. He protects us, true, but without our money, He'd be protecting us with sticks and stones, not tanks and guns. We are the money and the power here, and the keepers of the values of our survivalist forebears. Strong alone, but stronger together, like the mountains. Anyone who intends to rule here would have to appease the families first. We know he doesn't like the refugees. Let's see what he uh, talks about the marshals. Uh, well... Go on, Mr. Reyes. I can take it. <laughs> uh, if you insist, Marshal Kwan. The Marshals are our police force here in Colorado Springs, but let's say their focus isn't so much on solving crime as deterring it. Most problems are dealt with using the gun and the boot. Rarely the head. They're also known to look the other way if enough money changes hands. 
Therefore, this is a town where help from the marshals is for those who can pay for it. Those who can't, fear them. I was going to say, uh, kind of seems like when everyone refers to the marshals, it's not, not very good. It's not bad, but it's not good. Was that a fair assessment, Marshal Kwan? Uh, um... <laughs> no comment. Safe travels, Rangers. Can I fix these guys? <laughs> nope, guess not. These are all going to be uh, private people just working around. All right, good. All right. As I said earlier, we're going to do the un uh, uh, don't you be my neighbor. So enter uh, Herb's apartment. So that is going to be in downtown Colorado Springs. And that is going to be the San Luke's apartments in apartment three. I think uh, my video three or four or something like that. Um, like I said earlier, I just uh, was not a high enough uh, pick locking skill to make it through there. So. Yep, we're going the right way here. Yeah, yes. All right, Colorado Springs is experiencing an increasing problem with refugees fleeing the vicious warlords who dominate the Eastern Plains. Love the music in this game. Team November, this is Ranger HQ. A couple vehicles rolled up and set up right outside our base. Real shady characters. Their leader is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any bells? Yeah, no idea. Figured. We'll keep them outside the base for you to deal with in good time. Over and out. Oh, we got more visitors. This game just keeps throwing stuff at me. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we need to get to the apartments. So we need to go all the way around. Would you rather freeze to death? City celebrates as refugees slow to a trickle. Come on. They could use my help. Have oh, I checked in here yet? Yeah, that's the uh, museum. All right, the San Luke's apartments provide the finest budget accommodations in Colorado Springs. Okay, so this guy supposedly, she doesn't know, because we did ask her if she's been in the apartment or anything. She says he won't let her in. So uh, she thinks he's making bombs or something. She's hearing strange noises, uh, voices, and says something about a smell, I believe. So we shall see what's going on. What's the matter? Why haven't you gone in yet? Are you chickens like them marshals? Kick down that door! You got it. All right, we've already investigated everything. There it is. Lock, lock picking level five. I should be like a level eight or something now. Okay. First, let's get these guys equipped. So, we'll give you a stem pack as well. Use the decoy. That's the three mechanics. Let's give you a turret. And we'll get rid of that. We'll give you... I want to try one of these decoys. And this is my... This guy is good with explosives, so let's give him a grenade. Let's slot. So this is 3 AP for 36 turn. I do not use these at all. For Marshall, yeah. Try it out. 
And injury kit. Let's get rid of that. We got a smoke grenade. All right, throw to create a persistent smoke cloud that conceals anyone standing within it, significantly increasing their evasion. I haven't used one of these yet. We'll try one. And let's give you some meds. All right, big boy, what do we got for you? We'll try a smoke grenade as well. And how about a grenade? I think we're pretty good. I don't have anything else to put in here. All right, guys, we're ready. Out of range. Come on. What's my name? Why don't you tell me my name? Let's go in one at a time here. Yuri, we... these molides do not compute. Level five, level five. We got a nitrogen tank there. Top of the world, ma! They got cloned. Twaiters! Twaiters, all of you! Hmm. They must never know. No one must ever tell them. Yeah, we can only do it in combat, so... God, the greatest mind of a generation. Thrown down the Gazaman plaque. Oh, what do they got there? What's this arm at? Eureka! The secret at last! Like a freaking turret Twaiters. machine over there. Twaiters, all of you! I'm trying to think here. All right, we need to move everyone to safety. We're going to funnel them out here. Human just like you. I swim as cuffs and platers. Platers, all of you. All right, let's wait for him to walk over here, and I'm going to shoot him. Do you know where you are going to? Do you like the things that wife is showing you? Let's here we go. Some justice. Let's move you to safety. Alright, Boomer, let's put you right here. And I want to deploy that decoy. Who had the decoy? Let's put him right there. Excellent, okay, and... Let's go and do the enemy turn. Decoy should work. Beautiful. Okay, that's gonna be Hawk. Take the big boy in first. Oh, miss. Come on. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to waste my turn. Oh, well. Down. Oh, nice. All right, let's take one. Beautiful. Let's go for a headshot, not enough. You sit back here, Quan. Let's take Boomer. No, let's do Hawk. We can get a good headshot there or a good snipe shot. Yeah, we can do a head. Beautiful. We gotta watch out for that turret. That should be everyone. Nice. Battle is over. Alright, MJ, you go in by yourself. Turn. I think all is left is going to be the turret. Let's move you guys out of the way.
perfect. Well, who's my mechanic? Who the heck is my mechanic? Level 4 mechanic. Right there, it's going to be Boomer. Not bad, not bad. My guys are getting pretty... Well, then again, this was a level 4, level 5 uh, mission, so pretty easy. Excellent, we'll take that. Ammo box. Got all sorts of goodies in here. Pick that lock. Oh, nice. Look at all that. Look at that armor planing. Beautiful. Turn your Jan into a Mar Marcia or Marcia. A self book for the trials and tribulations of being in a large family. Okay. Another book The Clown's Guide to Paints, Makeup, and Acid. <laughs> 1984's top seller. Ooh, a watch. That's junk. Got some. Ooh, 10 grenades? Hell yeah. That's a lot of grenades. Alright, make sure I'm not missing anything here. We need to loot the bodies. Ooh, a scientist outfit? Alright, you found some clothing. Try it out. Visit your barracks and ranger headquarters to customize your appearance. Keep in mind that equipping armor will cover up your clothing, but you can still show off your fashion sense by toggling the visibility of your armor in the inventory screen. Well, that's pretty cool. Ooh, a pulse gun. Ooh, that's a new assault rifle for NJ. Alright. MJ, you got a new gun. About freaking time. So this is going to be the poles. Both are 12 to 15. I like it. I like it. Beautiful. Exciting. Alright, what else we got here? Everyone get in here. An ammo box. What is this right here? Okay, on the desk you find a chaotic mess of ancient dot matrix printouts, scientific journals, and dog-eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in a wild childish hand. A computer awaits a button press. Looks like we need someone to be on there first. Boomer, you step right here. There we go. Should work now. Begin the experiment. The computer pauses a moment as the display relays information about its sensor, then returns. Subject absent from secondary sensor. So we're supposed to clone someone. Oh wait, the sensor's right there. There we go, let's try it now. No, get back over there. Alright, let's try it. The computer analyzes both sensors as large volumes of data fill the screen. A small thermal printer begins to spew out realms of information uh, laid in paper. The text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic electrical and anatomical diagrams, and some printouts reference books and notes on the table. The titles of the textbook stand out. Cloning in Our Time, Dream or Reality, Robotics, Cybernetics, and Cloning, The Future is Now. Cloning Theory and Practice, Life Everlasting, Business pr pr uh, Prospectus, A New You. The list continues, but one component remains the same. The name on every title page, Professor Erwin John Finster, PhD. 
Find and confront Irv with what you discovered in his apartment. Okay, every ranger knows the name of Erwin John Finster, the director of the infamous Project Darwin and an old enemy of the Desert Rangers. Rosie's tenant Irv has some explaining to do. So that was, he wasn't even in here. Those were just some guys who that were working in the lab, I guess you could say. There's nothing else to grab around here. Let's check this out. All right. The road or uh, the readouts and graphics have flatline now that the clones are dead. Oh, those were clones that we fought. Given specialized knowledge and the right resources, it might be possible to make more. Interesting. So we'll have to just uh, make a mental note that there is a clone uh, machine here. All right. Let's move out. Let's go let her know what happened. Ooh, I can finally repair a toaster. Supposed to give me like some rewards or something. Ooh, heavy machine gun. What is this? Pocket saw pup. This this smaller saw dog design collapses into a fairly compact form, but the tips of the saw blade jut out slightly. You'll have to be careful when you throw it. Ooh, a saw pup is gonna be uh, like a little robot. Sweet. We got some decoys. Hell yeah. Saw pup, that's pretty exciting. Alright, let's let her know what happened. So, what'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? Yep, it's not safe in there. Please stay out till we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? <laughs> if he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. You got it. So the uh, Market Square is going to be where the vendors and stuff are. All right, Colos, Colorado Springs is a rare, fully functioning society in post-apocalyptic America. But many harsh sacrifices have to be made in order to maintain it. All right, so we are looking for a guy in a lab coat. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Wonder if we're going to arrest him. November, this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. There's some new gear here next time you stop by. Ooh. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. Okay. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Okay. So we got, um, statue and new gear. Cool. Well, do we want to do Fallen Rangers, or do we want to kiss the Patriarch's ass? Let's do Rangers. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, we need to go to Market Square, which is going to be right here. It's going to be right around the corner. I can find that easy. All right, we're looking for a guy in a lab coat. You like rubbing people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. They're like in their new armor, it looks like. Guy in a lab coat. Yeah, for the wards or the Reyeses to buy up and turn into playpens. Seriously. Why would you even want to live with a bunch of uptight muckety? Uh, uh. Yes. Said by the bookstore. Do you have any books on cloning? On what? Clown? Ooh. No, no clown books. There he is. No, no clown. A tall, lanky man is looking over the books on a merchant stand, muttering nervously to himself. Yep. Well, let's kind of play cool. Hi, mind if we ask you some questions? Um. <laughs> I guess. Wh who are you? I was going to say play cool because he doesn't even know who we are. 
Yep, we're the one asking questions. You're Irv, right? Um, uh, yes. What, what do you want? Are you going to arrest me? Yeah, we were attacked in your apartment by a few guys who looked just like you. Any explanation for that? Oh no! Did you kill them? Yeah. Why would you care? They were exactly... They weren't exactly human, were they? Oh, God, poor clones. Yeah, they were... They weren't as human as I wanted them to be. I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Yeah, tell us more about these clones. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. When they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If... If I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. All right, we found some papers in your apartment written by Erwin John Finster. Is that your real name? I... Uh... He looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. What? Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Hmm. Yeah, is Finster still alive? The original? No. N not anymore, but... I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? He pales suddenly and swallows. Er, uh, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race. Right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... no. He's lying. He's not a clone. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well... That killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I. I swear. You believe me, don't you? Hell no. Yep, we don't believe you. Clones can't be trusted. No! No! I, I promise I'm a good person. Please don't arrest me. Please! Yeah, sorry, you're too dangerous to be walking around Cree, you're under arrest. But I haven't hurt anyone or, or stolen anything! You're not gonna turn me over to the marshals, are you? They'll kill me! Uh, this is so unfair! Solid, Team November. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. This will probably bring up our reputation with Sheriff Daisy since we completely ruined it um, with the Club Vegas. So tell Sheriff Daisy that we found a clone in Market Square. He's been conducting dangerous experiments in the city. Wow. Natural there we go. Clone, huh? Perfect. <laughs> no shit. Ever a boring day in the life of a ranger. We'll let Daisy know right away. Over and out. Good deal. Okay, we need to go back to... We should be able to get this way. We're gonna go back uh, over to the apartments and let Rosie know. And that should finish the mission and we should get our reward. I heard that uh, the previous wasteland had... Uh, Horrible, horrible loading screens and loading times, so not too bad here. I am on a M.2 SSD, so pretty much it's going to be some of the fastest uh, loading you can get, I guess. I guess it depends on the game as well.
Alrighty. Any word on the loony in number three yet, Rangers? We found Irv, and he won't be coming back. He can clear out his room now. About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? Yeah, let's not tell her everything. You don't need to know. It's all taken care of. Ah, serves me right for asking, I guess. Well, thanks anyway. Here's a little something for getting him out. Oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. All right, mission completed. Awesome. All right, we need to check the mission log and see what else. Now, for the guy, I can't remember his name. I need to look at the mission log. He's standing at our headquarters. He's asking us to find to find a synth. And a synth is, from what I understand, a, uh, a robotic human. So, uh, a droid, I guess you could say. And he says when we hear static on our radio, which we have been seeing, over by the gallows, which is right in the back picture, that's where we need to go. So, Zealon. Here it is right here. All right. Gary, um... What is that? Salt chlorine? <laughs> Wolf, a merc who's had dealings with the Rangers in Arizona, has shown up at Ranger headquarters and offered to pay us if we bring him the head of the synth that's hiding in downtown Colorado Springs. So we'll buy, find and destroy the synth hiding in downtown Colorado Springs. Wolf shot up Colorado Springs trying to kill a synth, but it gave him the slip. These cowboy antics pissed off Sheriff Daisy, and she kicked out. Uh, she kicked Wolf out. He knows the th synth is still somewhere downtown, and he wants us to find it, kill it, and bring its head. We will do it. All right, guys. I am going to use the restroom real quick. We'll be right back. All right, I am back. All right, so it's going to be in Pillory Scare. The synth is going to be around there. Well, that's where we need to go. But I remember him saying it's going to be near, near the square. Reyes announces unconditional support of Rangers, declares them heroes of Colorado. Well, that's good to hear. Hey, Rangers, looking for the latest news? You bet. <laughs> Rangers uncover human sponge. There you go, you hear that? Sure is cold, huh? Read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot. I'm not looking for any funny trouble. cartoon in there. She's <laughs> Haley. Mom. Mom. Oh, I. Sorry. Never mind. Just a minute. Can we talk to you? Oh, you. You're the Rangers. I keep hearing about you from everyone. What do the Rangers want with me? Hmm. Do you need help? No, please, I just need you to go away. Please. You're expecting your mother. Where is she? I, I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we... We, uh... Got separated. I... I hurried here as quick as I could after, but... I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> you got separated? There... There was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know... Oh, that was the, the mama gal that we arrested, uh, kidnapped her, pretty much it sounds like. She was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. How did you escape? One of her men took me out of the cage to... to... I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. Uh, bye. So we're not going to help you find uh, your mother? You again. What do you want? Oh, it's not going to give me the uh, option. Bye. We need to find the synth. See, there's the faint static. Austin Pete, who's this? Would you rather 
This looks like Patriarch Dorsey's captive. Guess this trial was a quick one. Come on, answer the question. All right, all right. Burn. All right, the teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is tousled and greasy. His face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. Sorry, I, I didn't. I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Well, I can imagine. How did you get in trouble with the marshals? Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. He was desperate. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. Let's say we can free you. What's that worth to you? Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. You probably want to be a companion. Yeah, do you have any useful skills? I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. He shakes his head. Why'd you do it? He just pretty much told us. Yeah, what, you got a daring escape plan? No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. He swallows hard, his eyes on the pillories. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Nice talking to you. Yeah. I think if we probably um, continued to talk to him, he would probably, uh, probably be a companion, but I like my companions. Patriarch looms over the pillories, surveying the punishments of the guilty one. Rangers, what brings you here? Are you a synth? Oh, here, we can free him right here. Also, Peace doesn't even kill anyone. We'll, we'll take to free him. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Yep, kick it, kiss ass. He took the job only because he was starving. True justice would free him and let him work to redeem himself for his minor infractions. Hmm. I am not certain you truly understand the Patriarch's justice, but your words ring true. Perhaps death is too severe a punishment. He thinks a moment, tapping his lips. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. You're a free man. We talked to the magistrate. He says he'll release you, but you'll be working for us now. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. Cool. All right. 
Now, I am not seeing a synth, a synth. So... Alright, guys, we are going to do the good old Google. We'll be right back. Alright, guys, I checked it, and I was right. Just like I said earlier, he's gonna be in the, uh... The museum. He's gonna be in the museum with all the other animatronics. Those kids are always making out right there. <laughs> yep, game saved. I said he's gonna be up here in the upper left hand corner. There he goes. You see, he's got the gun. The animatronic figure dressed like a marshal. Nothing differentiates uh, from any of the other figures in the display. And yet, your radio is picking up weird noise from the spot. Just the spot of digital transmissions that should be coming from a synth, according to Gary Wolf. Okay, use your radio to create feedback on the synth's broadcast frequency, which should stun the synth. With a few tweaks, your radio emits a strange oscillating screech. As it grows louder, something at the base of the synth's neck pops. Its eyes swivel to meet yours, but it can't move any other parts of its body. What, what did you do to me? Let me go! It's a child's voice. Yep, destroy the synth while it's incapacitated. He wants its head. No! Don't! <laughs> Had to be done. There's the head. October 11th's head. A synthetic human head formerly attached to October 11th's body. I wonder why it's called October 11th. Beautiful. So we need to bring it to the headquarters. Alright, let's go. Let's move out. You know, I came in uh, the beginning of this game. I came into the museum. I knew there had to be something else with the museum because, um, yeah, when I went through there, there really wasn't much to discover. Boomer has got some radiation. We'll go to see the dock as well. Oh my gosh, look at all these level ups. All right. Boomer, let's give you some skills. Yeah, let's make my flamethrower better. And skill... Alright, 100%. So, action points are max, plus 5. Action points, another plus 5. And status effect resistance, 35%. Very cool. Alright, let's see. Let's get you. Give you some more health. And skills. Let's bring up that weird science some more. I like it. Survival and barter. Your ability to avoid dangers on the world map and then let's see. Can I do I'd like to do undo my survival? Oh hell with it. Let's do weird science. Because I, I remember seeing in one of the videos, if you have survival, you're going to avoid world map encounters. And they said they don't recommend doing that because you get some good, cool stuff from doing them. Anyways, I just recognized her badass outfit. 
Alright, let's go ahead and max out my melee. What is it going to be? Four? Upgrade cost is six! We will... Yeah, we'll come back to that. Let's do strength. Alright, let's go to headquarters. Alright, let's see uh, how they're doing on that statue. And, um... We're gonna go turn in the head. Alright, General Wade Woodson took command of the Desert Rangers after the loss of General Vargas. Alright, good thing the uh, statue will be right out front and so we're Wolf. Get our reward. Very exciting, we got a lot done in this video. I'm having so much fun playing this game. Oh, those are those people that rode up earlier. We will talk to them. Not right now. That was the statue earlier, wasn't it? All right, inscription reads, in honor of General Vargas and the Rangers who gave their lives for a better world. Pretty cool looking statue. All right, let's talk to Wolf. We got your head. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Here's its head, where's the bounty? Oh, no muss, no fuss. How about that? All right then, here's the cash, as promised. 180 bucks. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. Okay. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? Sure. We got other plans for space. Is he going to take someone else's spot? Yeah, let's see here. You don't seem like Rangers much. You sure you want to hang around? Ranger squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here. So I'm giving you a chance. Yeah, him and his squad look like some badasses. Fine, you can stay. Great. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter, how'd you like to pick up a few more bounties? Sure. What other bounties? Like I told you, synths communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11's head, I'll be able to find its friends. I know there is one in Bazaar. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done. So I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Sure. Yep, give us the locations, we'll get all the synths. Great. Now, let me just crack this egg. Wolf takes the head, expertly opens it, then wires it to a portable computer in his backpack and begins to poke and prod. After a few minutes, he nods and turns the screen toward you. It shows a map dotted with flickering lights. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Okay, one looks real close to Denver. Anything you can tell us about it? Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. Electromagnetic. All right, how about the one that's a little further out from Denver? There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Hmm. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine. Or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano. <laughs> like some kind of supervillain. Interesting. There's one in the Aspen area that keeps flickering. Signal's imprecise, bouncing around. Maybe in the mountains. All right, thanks. We've got it. Great. 
The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. Boom, they showed them my mission long. No. Oh, we got some skills. Oh, that's the one I already did. All right. Guys, we're going to end the video there. Very exciting video. We got a lot done. Way awesome. So very exciting. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll catch me in the next video. Hope to see you then. Take care.